Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multiplying and dividing positives and negatives, and we want to find each quotient. So, if I was given this quotient, negative 66 over negative 6, okay? Well, the negatives we know, since a negative numerator, negative denominator, we can cancel those out, boom. So they're just positives now. So it's 66 divided by 6, okay? So let's go use a long division method here. Well, 66 divided by 6, we have 6 on the outside, and 66 here, okay? Well, 60, uh, 6 goes into 6 one time, and 1 times 6 is 6. We subtract it, 6 minus 6 is 0, perfect. We bring down this 6, and 6 goes into this 6 one time. 1 times 6 is 6, we subtract it from 0. Now we're done, 11 is our final answer. But that's a lot of 6s. So if we think about 66, we know that can be broken down to be 6 times 11. Well, 6 times 11 divided by 6, the 6s can just cancel. Boom, boom. And now we're left with a final answer of 11. Okay? So both methods obviously work, and it's whatever you're most comfortable with. Okay? I'm not going to tell you which one you have to do, right? But sometimes, once we get more comfortable, this is a quicker method. But relying on old faithful, there's nothing wrong with that. So again, let's recap. We had 66 divided by 6. 66 was 6 times 11. Uh, the now 6s can cancel or left 11. Or in this method, 6 goes into 6 one time. Bring down the 6. 1 times 6 is uh, 6. Subtract them. We have a 0. Bring down this 6. We have 6 right there. And then 6 goes into that 6 one time. 1 times 6 is uh, negative 6. Or 6 right here. We subtract them. And we're left with 0. And so now we're done, and this is our final answer of 11 up there, or we have the final answer of 11 down here.